For more than a decade, the owners of this lot at the south end of Gano Street have repeatedly ignored the city's demands that they stop using the land for parking. Our investigation last month revealed the City of Providence has inexplicably failed to enforce any of the dozens of violation notices it has issued, stretching back more than a decade. Two weeks after our story ran, the City Solicitor's Office filed a lawsuit against owners Stephen Puglio and Michelle Booten in Superior Court, demanding they stop using the lot for parking and asking the court to fine them up to $500 a day for every day since August of 2006. That translates to more than $1.3 million. The suit was filed by Assistant City Solicitor Lisa Dinnerman, who also serves as legal counsel to the city's zoning board. Through a public records request to the city, the Hummel Report has also obtained 39 pages of records that detail the city's efforts to stop the parking through three administrations at City Hall. But no one ever followed through with the threat. The documents have a familiar ring going back as far as the fall of 2001. Quote, no permits to date, a field report from a city building inspector reads. In October of 2010, a complaint notice from the Department of Inspections and Standards reads, quote, using lot for parking. And in January of 2012, quote, still using lot for parking vehicles. But it also has a line that says, send to court, that is crossed out without any reason why. The head of the inspections division, Jeff Likens, said he could not explain the lack of enforcement during an interview for our story last month. My research is a little difficult in that this is old enough that the majority of people involved back then are no longer with the department. Um, so I've had a little bit of trouble getting all the facts. At times, the city departments didn't seem to know what each other was doing. On November 5, 2007, the Department of Inspections and Standards told the owners to cease and desist using the lot. Quote, failure to do so will cause the matter to be referred to the City of Providence Department of Law for legal action. But two weeks earlier, an assistant city solicitor had already sent the owners a letter threatening fines. None of the paperwork we obtained shows the city has collected a dime. The lot has a for sale sign on it, and when we called the number in November, Stephen Puglio didn't hide the fact he uses the lot for parking. You know, I, I can't sell one without the other because... Uh... That I use for parking. So you use the lot for what? For the for tenants for parking? Yeah, I got like I don't know. Sometimes two, three cars. It depends. That's all I use it for. Not much more than that. Pulio didn't mention the city has put a lien on the property. We're pursuing it. The law department is handling it right now. But it did. But you weren't pursuing it until we brought it to your attention. I wasn't. I wasn't aware of it. I mean, we have a like I say, a very high caseload here, um, and that's been exacerbated by you know the economy. It causes a lot of things to a lot of people to fall out of compliance. In addition to the fines, the city is asking for a permanent injunction against the owner. A hearing on that motion is scheduled for next week. Meanwhile, cars continue to park in the lot regularly after the lawsuit was filed, including these two we found there just last Friday. In Providence, Jim Hummel for the Hummel Report.